Kapita, retold by Ellen Carlson and illustrated by Chris Werner. Quack, quack. I am a duck. I am not big. I like bugs. Quack, quack. <coughs> the animals on the farm say I am too nosy, but I just like to know what's going on. Because I'm so clever, everyone just seems to come to me for advice. Hey, I'm a field weasel, and I'm also the best field reporter in the Daily Dog has ever seen. I see everything that goes on in the pond. I am a new mother. I have seven baby ducks. One looks very different. I worry about him. I am the master storyteller. It's up to me to keep the story alive and interesting with each exciting details. So, I must read everything with expression and excitement. Down on the old farm, near a great pond, there lived a duck family. Mother and father duck eagerly waited for the first duckling to be born. Our nest of seven eggs. There were only six. Where did that large egg come from? As mother duck examined her eggs, she was excited to see they were beginning to hatch. Lucy, the dairy cow, and Squill, the pig, stood nearby. Even Slink, the field weasel, the local news reporter, was in on the action. Mm, look at the big one. It seems kind of odd. A duck is yellow, not gray. He is a bit funny looking. <laughs> that is the ugliest duck I've ever seen. That's enough from you, Slim. <coughs> what is his name? <coughs> I think I will name him Spencer. The next morning, Mother Duck took her ducklings to the pond. Time for a swim, my little ducks. Buttercup, you swim very well. using feather extensions.
like a tattoo. Yes, and it is big. Sorry to tell you, darling, but that's a brand, not a tattoo. It tells the farmers where you belong. But I want to belong. I want a tattoo. If you want a tattoo, you're going to get a tattoo. Slim carefully cut away the feathers from the top of Spencer's wing and went to work. Ah, ah, ah. Well, what do you think? Do I look like I belong? I didn't quite know what you look like. Ooh, Buttercup, honey, could you please stand next to your brother? Yes, I can. Something looks funny about that beak. My beak is just fine. It is not bad. It does look strange, you know, sort of crooked like. Ooh, yes, you just gave me some good ideas. When they arrived home, Buttercup proudly stood at Spencer's side. Mom! Look at him! Quack, quack! Quack, quack! What have you done to yourself? Quack, quack! Ah, ah. I look like the rest of you now! Ah, ah. How did this happen? Ah, ah. I just wanted to belong and fit in! Swan. 